Hi, welcome. Welcome back if you're returning. Today's video is uh, about the makeover of one of the first bedrooms upstairs. What I wanted was a dark and moody office slash library. Uh, the inspiration came from a very um, odd place. It was a, a picture that I found while I was thrifting. Um, but I wanted dark colours, I wanted a, a moody, mysterious vibe um, and the dark colours create a sense of calm and comfort. Um, I wanted peaceful and relaxing and it's been proven that dark colours um, or dark colour schemes help people feel like they can focus better. So I already had uh, thrifted the bookshelves, a large mahogany desk that I'm going to be picking up this week with a beautiful um, leather inlay on the desk, a big comfy leather office chair to match and the colour scheme came from this picture. So a makeover, what does that start with? A really good thrift trip. This is the local Value Village. Um, I was looking for dark academia, library, vintage, um, greens, moody colours, anything along that line that would fit in with my vision. Um, this little lamp was really cute, not quite as dark as I would have liked from the green, but I'm certainly drawn to greens at the moment. Um, some of the prices were really, really out of this world. Um, oh, here's a Ray Dunn mug. We only see these come out, well I do, at Christmas and fall. It's really odd. You don't see them very often. Um, back to the, the job at hand. Um, I was looking for specific items. Um, I thought like clocks and old cameras and phones, things like that. Um, I was going to try to get greenery as well. Like these owls, they were kind of cool. Um, this little uh, fall item was $5.99, which wasn't bad actually. I also was looking for fall things. I mean, I, I always am. And always greenery. Um, there wasn't an awful lot here. Uh, and again, the prices were ridiculous. I did like this little sign. This was brand new. Um, this is this is our happy place and I thought this would be perfect on the door. I don't know if you remember at the last house I had those little signs on the bathroom and the toilet and they were so cute. I haven't seen them around so I'll have to look out for some more. But this little picture here was my inspiration for my colour scheme. Um, Two dollars, two ninety nine, I think it was. I did pick that up. I just thought the colours on it were beautiful, real vintagey looking. I am currently on the lookout for more mirrors. Um, I have quite a few mirrors. I've decided when I do my hallway, I'm going to do a whole uh, wall of mirrors because I have so many of them and I'm going to paint them the same colour as the wall, which is again going to be a dark colour. I'm going to do half of the hallway in dark colour and then above the wainscoting it's going to be a very light colour but that'll be in an upcoming project. Um, some of these pictures there was a few needlepoint ones which were really nice. I thought this was a nice this little round mirror um, but I do have I think I've got two oval mirrors so I figure I, I didn't really need that one and of course specifically I was looking for the library items vintage items um, which I you know it was it was hit and miss I did like this picture of the uh, little sailboat as well but it didn't really go with anything that I was looking for I just get distracted sometimes it's like oh shiny This was a pretty little piece. I didn't pick it up, but I thought perfect for fall and Thanksgiving. Um, I do always have a really good look through the material aisle, starting at the tablecloths and working through the bedding section all the way around to the back where they have their pieces of material um, that are on hangers. So you just don't know what you'll find with these, especially on the end caps. I bought them, I found the most beautiful cushion covers and scraps of fabric that have been either really expensive or just not what you expect to find. Um, the curtains were okay, there was nothing really 
I'm, I'm looking for luxurious I'm looking for thick heavy and again either greens or, or mustards or browns something that's you know fits the the, the style of the room um, because it's going to be a lot of wood in there as well um, so I didn't really find much in the curtains um, but I did have a look sometimes in the bedding. I, you can also use bedding as curtains if you get a, a really big a big enough piece of bedding, whether it's like a king size quilt cover or, or a sheet. You can make curtains or I also line my curtains with um, really good quality sheets. Um, it's a lot cheaper than going to the fabric store and buying lining material so that's a good little uh, tip if ever you're doing that I always pick up the curtains for linings um, so here I am in, in the material section I really did like this tartan I think it's always something great to pick up uh, especially when uh, in the winter time for Christmas um, and I was looking through and I found this and it was turned inside out and I thought well that feels really nice and I opened it up and it was a big beautiful piece of velvet now it's not the best quality velvet but it is velvet and it's green and believe it or not a few weeks ago i had actually found a piece almost identical to this um, and i'd picked that up so that came home with me and uh, i'm hoping to use it in the uh, in the new room i was also looking for throws this blue throw was really pretty um, again autumn colors um, greens uh, dark browns that green was nice but it wasn't the right green um, so just a matter of like literally matching the the tone and the feel of the room caught my eye it was so pretty uh, the colors were gorgeous on it and the place I would have put it was in the living room but my couch is so full of pillows I don't need another one these bottles were lovely as well very awesome uh, but I left them behind I was good I've got enough bottles with autumn at the moment I think I'd mentioned some of the prices. $20 for this clock, honestly, and $4 each for these little salts and peppers. Some of the prices were just astronomical. I like this picture, but I didn't like the houses in it, so I left that one. And I thought this tray was gorgeous, but it's another thing. I've got so many trays at the moment, you know, and I don't, I very rarely use them. I thought this was cute. I don't know what you use it for, but it was, the colors were right. have some pretty glass pieces in the oranges and the reds the deep reds these were pretty I really like the uh, candlesticks they were 9.99 for the pair but I don't use a lot of glass candles not like the colored ones they did have like I said they did have some pretty colored glass but um, I, I don't use a lot of glass so I left that behind but the colors were lovely This I thought was really, really cool, but $15, I just, I just find that's a lot. I'm, I feel like I could buy a new one. This was the best, uh, $95 for a transfer wear plate. Yeah, I don't think so. So I'd gathered, so two thrift stores and a garage store later, here's what I'd picked up. I did pick up this wreath. I thought it was really pretty. I loved the greenery on it and I liked the lavender and I figured I could pick the lavender out and use the greenery as a base for a Christmas 
wreath and it was only six dollars so that was a good price so i did pick that up i'm definitely going to use that even in the chandelier i think they look so cool when they're placed in the chandelier um the circle of greenery at christmas i think it looks so nice these two little candlesticks were 50 cents each uh, candle holders sorry and i do have a couple of um not so much fall as Thanksgiving themed, so I thought those those were perfect. I should put those on my table or my shelves. I think they were very pretty and for the price. So there are still some bargains out there. Um, they, I picked up these two little transferware plates, uh, $950 each, I'm joking, 50 cents each. And um, then I found this packet of little pumpkins and there were $2 and I think there was 11 or 12 in there and they are so pretty i thought i could either put them in a bowl with some little twinkling lights or thread them through a little wreath somewhere or even put them uh, last year i did them on top of my front door or in an, all in a line looks so cute this little urn was a great find it was three dollars this was also from uh, value village it's quite heavy and sturdy so i think i probably leave it that color uh i I'd put that at the front door or i might even put, use it in the new bedroom um this little uh, lazy susan i thought would be perfect with the round you know those um face of the moon i have a picture that i did last year i thought for fall and halloween that would be perfect in the center of the table so i'm going to paint that up and i'll do that as a craft for next time this was a little fortnum and mason can these both came from a garage sale the fortnum and mason can was a, a bit of a vintagey one and uh, so i thought that was lovely I think that was 50 cents and then this was a dollar another urn this was it's, this one's quite heavy um it's a, it's a metal urn so i'm definitely going to paint this one uh, but i think i'll do it more in like the french country style and then have it in my living room either at, um, with something i thought a nice big uh, uh, christmas ball with lights it would be really lovely around the christmas season so um, this was the, the only garage sale that I probably went to this year really I've only been to a couple and that was a good find uh, these two pumpkins I picked up at my local thrift store and they were three dollars each and I thought they were just lovely uh, really really real looking and I think they'll go in one of the urns at the front door also pick up some spindles uh, these were 25 cents each we have some spindles missing off the stairs so I figured you know what at this point we're just going to repair it I don't think we're going to be able to match them exactly so I thought I'd find something similar this is going to be an upcoming craft this little um, this light fitting was two dollars and fifty cents um, it all works uh, it's got all the parts to it and what I thought I'd do was spray it a proper goldy color and turn it into a chandelier I have those little cups that um, I found the other week and I also have a big box of crystals and little hanging glass pieces so I thought I would really like to have a go at making a nice chandelier either for the library room or maybe for the hallway depending on if it looks really good I'll uh, put it in the hallway if it doesn't look so good I'll put it in the library room because not everybody will see that then so uh, now we're starting the job upstairs so the first thing I did was I took a hammer to the little closet and that is where the doorway was blocked for the upstairs and downstairs so this was coming in from the front door and I literally just took the hammer and bashed through and it was like um, there's a partition wall that had been uh, made and built so um, it took me about uh, 20 minutes just to break through enough so that I could uh, get through the space uh, save me walking all the way around the house every time I needed to do something so uh, this is hopefully coming down on the weekend and we can uh, 
start once the bedroom's finished upstairs we can start in earnest the uh, the decorating and, and repairing the upstairs uh, so it's livable again so this is the picture the only picture i have really this is the back bedroom it is going to be the master bedroom eventually but for now it's going to be the library room this is the green paint that I picked up for the front door. Hated it on the front door, but loved the colour. So I painted the closet door to see what it was like, because I was going to replace this closet door. Once it was on, I loved it. So this is the green materials, the one I just picked up. The one below is the one that I picked up the other week, but they match beautifully with the green woodwork. So I figured what I'd do is I'd split them, I'd put make one set of curtains from one window, one on the other. You'll never know that there are different shades of green because obviously the way the light comes into the room. But this is the other color that I painted the room and it is a mustard yellow. And I just think it is beautiful with the green. I did all the woodwork in this green, a deep green. And then obviously the, um, the rest of it is the mustard yellow. Um, the ceiling is white and of course these are nine and a half nine and a half foot ceilings and it's very reminiscent of the old Victorian uh, Edwardian colour schemes they weren't afraid of colour and they used to put these colours together and I just think it is lovely it is so warm and cosy and I decided to leave that door on because it just looks so good <laughs> 